let's explain one very important thing. How we learn chords. Because suppose we are learning these patterns here we have of La Fiesta. Like for example, C sharp 7 on G. This chord. So, how we learn it? Well, this is something that it seems silly, but it's so much important because no one said it before. <laughs> That's why these series are called Never Explained Before on Internet. So, C sharp 7 on G. And now, how we will memorize the chord? So, we play the chord, and then what we will do is just take away the hand from the fretboard and place it again. Other thing we have to remember to play it, play the chord. Okay, let's do the, the, the experiment with you. So we have. This can be applied to any chord. But for example, we are saying this one, right? Okay, that. Play it like this index here on the second. Index on the fourth string. Okay, now, now take away the hand from the chord, and now, but with the hand, <laughs> because the mind says, no, don't do it, because we forget the, the posture, right? So, that's no problem, we will not forget it, look, and then, place it again, there. Finger one, no. Finger one is on the second fret, second string. Yes. Okay, now we have the chord again, then we again take out the hand and now place place it the fingers still is not there the finger one okay then again and now place it again it's coming eh it's what coming. happened <laughs> eh it's coming it's coming and again take off the hand from the fretboard you know this is it seems a silly thing <laughs> but this is the way to to memorize chords how I practice this? I will, I will do this, eh? When you approach the board, that's an important part. Yes, because we are we are if we are keep, too much too much used to just. If you keep your hand here, you never. You never learn. You need to know how to shift out. Yes, and and this is something very basic, but it's one very interesting concept, and this will serve, by the way, as a uh, as a as a uh, exercise to release tension because tension is the enemy of, of good playing and it can cause injuries and things like for example in the chord that have bar set. say for example this F sharp play this F sharp 9 okay here that we have to do bar to play a bar Make every step now, every note sound good. We shouldn't do tension there. If we increase the tension, what happens? People sometimes experience uh, uh, pain or, 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 or an injury in the, in the, in the, with the sejilla, with the bar thing, because of overdoing it. So I learned one principle from one of my <coughs> oldest students, Dr. Pedro Chavez, which is a very learned man, and uh, he's a doctor, and he explained me this thing of the touch and withdraw, which is very practical, we will do it to release the tension. Touch means we approach the fretboard position, for example this one, and then we withdraw there, and then leave the, leave, leave the hand there, and then again reach, reach, and then withdraw. reach again and then we draw so that we will get gradually more control okay that's better try to make sound the, the first string and then we have to observe like in Feldenkrais theory we have to observe which finger here if I am pressing too much that's not good we need to use only what's necessary to, 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 to have the bar clear or to have the fingers there in the chord. We don't need to, to press too much. Of course, that also depends on the guitars, right? Because if you play a very bad guitar with so much high, high action, it has five minutes by car from the sixth string to the 
to the yeah. to the to the fretboard, then what do you want? You are already the the, the, the bad guitar is making you pr overpress, and that can cause an injury certainly, right? So we have to avoid injury if we want to continue playing, right? So that's one thing, and then therefore that's why technique is necessary. Why technique is necessary? Because it will we will avoid injury and achieve proficiency in playing. So, okay, let's say, let's say this one, we have to do it on the first fret. Okay, play it. And now don't try to, to keep the chord all the time there. That's why people get the injury, because they try to do it only reach, reach, reach. We have to do reach and withdraw, reach and withdraw. Let's practice that. Let's do F sharp first, that is easier. Okay, reach and withdraw. And then again, reach. No, it's main, nine, main, major nine. And then withdraw. Then again. And then withdraw. We don't do reach only. This is the principle. We have to do withdraw from the fretboard and then touch, touch it. Be near the fretboard, far away from the fretboard. It's an exercise and you can do it even not playing, just placing your hand over the fretboard. Mm -hmm. If you experience pain on the left hand or something, or in the right hand, both, we, we just do withdraw and reach, like touch the fretboard. And the guitar, we place it, it can be anywhere, the fingers actually. You see, but with one chord, if one chord particularly uh, causes pain in the hand or anything, we can counteract this thing by by using these techniques. So now play the, the, the C sharp on G, the C sharp 7 on G. Okay, now, now you see, first you need, okay, now you have it, but you have to watch it, to watch the chord. With the with the eyesight here, right? Yeah. With the left hand, you have to watch the left hand. So let's do it again. We draw from the front. So we, I, we take the hand away, and then we place it until we can do just do it without just by touch. You see, we don't need to see. We need to feel the guitar, feel the strings, you know? like this. Look, I can put this automatically there. Look. I just approach the, the, the proper strings, look. Even the proper string. Without the, the right hand playing, right? You see? You see? Look. Look. Mm -hmm. it, has to, it has to fall there, look, like this. You see? Mm -hmm. It has to fall there, the fingers, exactly where is the point. Do it. Let me see. No, but take away the hand from the fretboard. Yeah, it should not be that that the taking away <laughs> there and the thumb is still it's a, it's here. Sticking. No, take the hand away and now just, just yes, that's, that's good. That was good. That was good. Because when we will be playing live or reading a partiture, we cannot be like this, like <laughs> watching this and watching the the chord, right? Yeah. So to to learn how to memorize a chord and release tension, two things. Either with bar chords, with any chord you can do. Like for example, say this. Let's say this. G sharp, G sharp, seven, 13. Okay. I have to put chords as example that you don't know, right? Okay. Okay, now, again. We draw from the fretboard and the bridge. 